Okay, now let's talk about a, a couple um, other a couple other controls. This tab strip and this multi-page. We know how to work with a lot of controls, basically all of them. Labels, text box, list box, combo box, radio button, check button, toggle button, frames, pictures, ref edit, spin buttons. We know all this. This is all you need to create really cool GUIs. These tabbing things like tab strip, I'll show you what it does. It's, it's nothing nothing very crazy. It just allows you to put, you know, you, you drag it and you size it up however you want. You can increase, decrease the size. And you put controls on the tab strip, like I'll put a list box. And what happens when you run it is that there's my list box. And when I change between tabs, notice that the control exists on both tabs. So with a tab strip, whatever controls you put on the tab strip is going to exist on both tabs. This allows you to write some code for tab 2 for this list box and maybe some different code for tab one for this list box. But in order to do that, you need to know what tab you're on. And I'm just going to show you how to figure that out. Uh, we can just go to the tab strip and double click it. When you double click it, cl click it you're going to get to this tab strip one underscore change. The name of our tab strip is tab strip one, by the way. That's why it says tab strip one underscore change. And this is the change event. And so every time the tab, you change tabs, this code will run. And to figure out what tab you're on, just do something like this. Message box uh, tab strip one dot selected item dot name. So this selected item dot name is the name of the tab that you're on or that you change to so if we run this and now you run this when I change to chat when I change to tab, tab 2 I get a message box that says tab 2 when I change to tab 1 I get a message box that says tab 1 so this is how this is how you would you know write some code to populate this list box or you could put other controls you could put other controls on this this tab strip and when you change tabs you can um, you can figure out what tab you're on by doing exactly what we did right here using this the tab strip dot selected item dot name once you know what tab you're on you can write an if statement to, to say if I'm on tab one then do this with with the controls like populate them or or do whatever the main point is that the controls you put on the tab strip they're the same on all the tabs that's the main point uh, you could insert you could insert tabs too uh, over here you could do a new page and it'll add a tab or you can delete tabs like that all kinds of stuff. But the main point is the controls you put on this tab strip are going to be the same across the tabs as we as we just saw. And now you know how to know what tab you're on. Now let's look at this multi-page this multi-page control. Looks very similar. You know, here you have tabs, here you have pages. Let me put a list box on this and let's run it and see what happens. So here, both of these controls, the tab strip has a list box. The multi-page has a list box, but watch what happens. On the tab strip, oh, as you change tabs, the controls are the same. But on the multi-page, they're not. You see that? So that's the difference between, that's the difference between this tab strip and the multi-page. The multi-page is basically like, a brand new container every page is a brand new container with independent controls they don't have the same controls page two does not have the same controls as page one 
whereas on the tab strip, all the tabs have the same controls. Um, so you can add all these controls that we just went over, all this stuff, text boxes, list boxes, combo boxes, r option buttons, ref edits. You could do all this. You could, you could add all these controls and put them on a tab strip, or you could put them on a multi-page. And they'll just, they'll just, um, you know, enhance the way your GUI looks if you if you feel like it. But they work the same way. You know, you could put buttons on here in the tab strip. You could put buttons on the on the multi-page, and you could have buttons outside of it like we do, and so on and so forth. Um, they're just these tab strips and multi-pages. They're they're sort of like distant cousins that are containers for more controls, and the tab strip. Um, the controls are the same on all the tabs and the, and the multi-page they're not. So that's it. Um, now you should be able to create some cool GUIs. So uh, give it a shot.